Bonjour YouTube users and Facebook friends. Today I'm going to be talking about the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning matching up tonight for the first night. Game 1! I'm going to point out five key things, kind of, about tonight's game and the series and why the Canadians are going to win. First, first and foremost, childish, yes, but first point, alphabetical order. Montreal M. Tampa Bay Lightning T M comes before T. Simple as that. Montreal Canadiens win that. Point one. That being said, point number two. Lightning does not strike in the same place twice. It's a fact. It does not. Although it happens sometimes. But that's not the point. Point is, it does not strike in the same place twice. Most of the time, which means the Canadians have the advantage because the Lightning are going to run out of scoring chances because they can't score in the same place twice. Good. All right. Uh, point number three, lightning only occurs during storms, as we know. So unless there's some crazy storm in Florida, which I don't think there is, uh, technically speaking, and I, I really think this is, should be a thing, they're not a team, unless there's a storm, uh, which would give the Hikanians the win by forfeit, or by not being a team. I don't have points four and five, because I couldn't think past three. Uh, so I just broke it down this way, but look. Offensively, Tampa has the edge. They've got a Stamkos, they've got four lines that work really hard, and can pitch it offensively anywhere, which can throw off the Canadians. Don't get me wrong, offensively the Canadians do the same thing, but they rely more on their first line. Defensively, I think I give the edge to Montreal only because of experience. They do have a lot of good guys back there behind the blue line. We've got Douglas Murray, big guy, he's got experience. Plus is Bouillon, he's got experience. Markov, he's really the leader. And then you've got a bunch of younger guys who can step up if they can. Goaltending, I have to draw. I really have to draw. Carey Price is elite and has the experience, seeing as how Ben Bishop is injured and won't be playing game one. They're not sure if he'll be back for games two and three and four. We'll see then. Uh, but they're two backups, which is phenomenal. I mean, Lindback. He's gone 3-0 in the past week, his name's number one star of the week. And the other dude, his name's too hard to pronounce, basically almost destroyed Team Canada with 55 saves in a 2-1 loss, which is still impressive. So goaltending I'll have to match up only because of the skill. Skill level, skill-wise, it's a match. If you're going more experienced, the edge goes to Montreal. Coaching. John Cooper, or whatever his name is, he's, he's done a phenomenal job with what he's had, especially when Sam Coast was injured, the trade, and whatnot, so he's done a really good job. Michel Tanya, you can't take away anything from the guy, although he shuffles like there's no tomorrow and he's a gambler. I mean, he took a team that was dead la last in the East, and he brought them to the playoffs, two years in a row. So, you know, let's just not hope for a first round exit, that would suck. Anyways, that being said, was my very first video for game one. I probably won't do a second one because I'm really lazy and I'm just really bored today. Uh, this was not sponsored by Reese. I just, I like this shirt and I wore it. And this is my teddy bear. The Canadians. So go Habs go. So, good luck to the Canadians and for those who are rooting for other teams, well, I don't care. <laughs>